Hello, welcome to the next video in our Horsey Jargon Buster series. Now, have you ever heard people describing their horse using words that you simply don't understand? Oh, he's an Irish sports horse. He's a Dutch warm blood. What do all these things mean? <laughs> lots of words around describing a horse and it's quite simple once you've got the grip of it. So let's have a look at the basics that you need to know. Now we've already established from our first video the difference between a horse and a pony simply being size. But there are two other ways that you describe a horse and the first one is the breed and the second one is the type and they're not exactly the same thing. So let's have a look at them. Now, all horses originally came from Central, Central Asia, from Mongolia, actually, and there are still a very few prehistoric horses still in the wild in Mongolia, and I was actually lucky enough to see them on a trip there. So, as centuries went by, the horses spread out from Mongolia, and they adapted to the different environments. And so they became what is known as a native breed. So a native breed has characteristics that are peculiar to the particular place where he lives. Now we're very lucky here in the British Isles to have some absolutely amazing native breeds and probably the most famous native breed of all is of course the Shetland Pony. Yes, he's the most recognisable of our native breeds because he's so small and has the amazing fluffy furry coat and is incredibly appealing and always starring in TV adverts. <laughs> so Shetland Ponies are one of our classic native breeds. Other ones that you may have heard of are the Welsh Pony, and Welsh Ponies obviously came from the mountains of Wales. There's the Highland Pony in Scotland, the very famous New Forest Pony down in the New Forest, and then there are some lesser known ones like the Exmoor and the Dartmoor and the Fell Ponies. These are all ponies that are now perhaps not quite so many of them around and some of them are even on the endangered list but they are native ponies of the British Isles. Now of course all around the world there are lots of native breeds that are very famous and you can generally recognise a breed because the name of the place or the geography of where they came from is in their name. So for instance an Andalusian horse obviously it comes from Andalusia an Arab horse from the Arab world, an Australian stock horse would be from, from Australia. So it's quite simple to tell what the breed is just by listening to the name. One breed that you come across a lot in England, of course, is the thoroughbred horse. Now, a thoroughbred horse, it's perhaps not quite so clear where they came from, and they were originally bred for racing and they were based on some very famous stallions, three famous stallions, who came from the Arab world. So a thoroughbred horse is generally a horse that's used for racing and you can have thoroughbreds called the English thoroughbred, the New Zealand thoroughbred and American thoroughbred. So that would give you some clue as to where they actually came from. So after describing the breed, people often use the type of horse. Now a type of horse is not a breed, but it's generally what the horse is used for. Okay, so the most common types you might find in England would be a horse described, say, as a hack. Now a hack is a horse, a general riding horse that you can take out for rides or hacks in the woods and generally be a general sort of family riding horse. So that would be a hack. Another type that you might come across is a cob. Now a cob is a sturdy, chunky, powerful, compact horse who generally would give you a very nice ride. So a cob is often used as a family riding horse. 
other types that you may come across that you may hear about are show ponies and that would be horses that are generally lighter and used for showing. And perhaps the final type of horse that you might come across, and this is heard quite a lot, are the group that are called warm bloods or often sports horses. Now warm bloods often come from Germany, from the Hanover region, and they have been developed for use in dressage. Also in this group, your horse could be described as a sports horse, and maybe that's one that's very good at show jumping. So just to recap there, all horses have a, pre a breed and often they have a type as well. And the best type of breed to start your child riding would be one of our native breeds like a Shetland or a Welsh or a New Forest. And the best type of horse would be something nice and steady like a gentle hack or a cob. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our Horsey Information series. This is the second in the series. If you missed the first one, you can find it on our YouTube channel. And next week, we'll be back with our third in our series about Horsey Colours. <laughs>